Give it's me a, a heart attack. The city was. You're gonna find me. No, I tried everybody and everything. And no, no, nothing. Nobody will give you a time of day, huh? No. <laughs> We got one more surprise. I got to go get it for him. Oh. That's fantastic. Give it's me a, a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. I know you're on your chair or on your couch, and you're getting ready to sit back and relax this amazing transformation. My buddy Greg contacted me and said there was a structure that was down near Coldwater, Michigan, where this elderly man was going to get fined because it was about ready to collapse. Safety is paramount, and we had to make sure that this elderly man did not get fined. And so I drove down and checked it out, and I could not believe this thing was about ready to fall and it was massive. Mr. Tim was so thankful and so appreciative. It's a heartwarming story, but he had no idea what was about to happen with the second surprise. It about gave him a heart attack. So as we approached the house, we took care of these edges. We we're gonna mow the yard, but the yard was in pretty good shape. But then we got around to the side and you can see this building is just tore up everywhere about ready to collapse we spent the next several hours knocking this down cleaning up for this elderly man and i tell you it looks tremendous but what's even more tremendous is his reaction once we gave him the surprise and we take you along with us we would love it if you did us a huge favor and click that follow or subscribe button and share this out with your friends it's because of you that we are continued to be able to bless others and this one was very special Oh my, that does not look safe at all. Hey, I'm gonna knock on this door real quick. Hey, I was driving through town here and I got a tip from someone that you got a barn out here that the that was gonna maybe fall down. The city was gonna find me. Giving yeah. me a little bit of a hard time on it. Yeah. And so I, do you mind if we help you out and take that down for free? Oh, no, great, because I don't have the money anyways, and I've been trying any this, that, to try and get it to take down before it does fall. No one else has came by to offer to help or anything? Or? No, I've tried everybody and everything, and no, no, nothing. Nobody will give you a time of day, huh? No. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're here to help you. Yeah, so am I, so before I get fined from the city.
Okay, toilet paper? I'm out. Just kidding, I brought my tent.
We got one more surprise. I gotta go get it for him. Not sure if you guys have ever seen this store, but we're gonna show you what it is. We have one thing we gotta get before we can finish up this job. Heading into Blaine's right now. We're gonna check out some stuff. Grab us a cart. Here we go. We got shut in a box. You have a good one. Cool, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hey buddy, wanna go check it out? Yeah. You got it got it all finished up. See, it looks different. Nothing falling down. Yeah. Now the city won't be messing with you. Yeah. Now I just gotta work on getting a shed. I don't know how to do that, but you get a shed? Yeah. How big a shed? As big as I can. Yeah. Whatever. Something to put my stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm working on that next. Well, we got a shed for you, too. Oh, do you? Yeah, we're going to put it up right now. Oh, wow, you're kidding. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give it's me a, a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh. Great. Yeah, so we're going to put that together for you. No. That's fantastic. We got you hooked up, man. We want to take care of you. Yeah, um, I appreciate it. Do you got it? Now, is this your business or something? I just do this as a hobby and film them, put them on YouTube, and oh. just uh, donating to you. And want, we took your barn down and shed. We wanted to give you something to put some stuff in. So oh, we picked great. up one that was in stock, and we're, we're going to put it together real quick. Okay, that worked great. Um, okay. Oh, wow, that's great. Uh, pretty cool setup. It's portable. A lot of room in it too. Yeah. Oh great. So yeah, it's uh some of my stuff I can sit out and yeah. cover it up. And a lot of things. Stuff that you can put in there and yeah. it could be even temporary, you know, you could eventually get a bigger shed and you could actually move this over and put it over here. Oh, yeah. A couple of areas. So we just want to get something. You could use it forever, too. But we don't want to, oh, we don't want to take, tear down your shed and leave you enough. No, right. I, I know. You really shocked me when you said you had a, a shed for me. I'm well, what? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. That's great. Got something to put some of that stuff in before somebody steals it. Exactly. One time I had some uh, golf club stuff out here. For sale or something, so we call the clubs. So, Greg's gonna uh, we're gonna come back. Greg's gonna come back and uh, throw some things in a little bit of pattern. Oh, okay. Monday. Oh, so okay. We'll stop back by and do that, but you should be good to go, man. Oh, great. Thank you very you much. Thank you made you my day. It's no problem. Oh, it's all torn down. This is fantastic. You should be happy. Yeah. The city guy. It's up. A tent, oh, fantastic. Oh, you made my day.